Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to make a video pretty much showing my closet because I've been slacking videos lately. I know I haven't made one since, let's check, since the 1st and today's the 18th. So we're going on to almost three weeks and uh, yeah, I apologize for not making videos. It's just been, it's been a long, you know, past couple weeks. Uh, Jeff's brother, Scotty, just passed away and it's been, you know, really tough. We knew him since I was a kid, since I moved over here. And yeah, pretty much like brothers to me. So it's pretty much like losing a brother, not just a friend. But you know, it's really sucked. Uh, it's been a long week, uh, and just wasn't up for making videos. But uh, a couple of people tweeted me, uh, left comments and stuff, saying, you know, where's when are you gonna make another video? And I think it's better if I do make another video. Just you know, it's better to keep making videos. You know, can't let some can't let anything hold me back from making videos because I'm sure he would want me to still be making videos. He wouldn't want me to just you know not be making videos so you know it's been tough uh, but I want to show my closet anyways guys uh, it's funny because you know one thing I think about my closet I always leave this door open now because you know this one thing Jeff always uh, like laughs and you know you know everyone always laughs about this but I, I always say this Dixie Carter complimented the closet she, you know she she really liked the closet and it was funny. I'll play the clip before I show you guys, before we get into the closet. And a lot of people always ask, you know, let's see your shirts. I don't have a lot. I don't consider myself to have a lot of shirts. Recently, I realized, I'm like, damn, you know, I had so many wrestling shirts compared to, like, other regular shirts. Like, I mean, I got too many wrestling shirts. Like, my wrestling shirts to regular shirts are just, it's, it's completely off now. So, uh, yeah, I don't consider myself to have that many shirts, but... I'll show you guys, and I got some stuff in there, it's some stuff that's not shirts, and, and I'll just show you guys whatever's in there. But uh, I'll play the clip uh, of Dixie Carter, you know, because Dixie Carter did call me, and I luckily I had it recorded. I, for some reason, I think like a week or two before she even called me, I didn't even know she was going to call me, you know. I had this stupid app on my phone that just recorded like every phone call I got, like, and it would just store it, and luckily I, <laughs> I had it. And she called, and it got recorded. So... Before we get into this, I'll play the little like 10 20 second clip of Dixie Carter complimenting the closet that was part of the conversation towards the end. But uh, yeah, let's get into the closet, guys. I had millions more just like you. You're a great, very talented guy, and you have an incredibly organized, neat closet. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I always keep that up. Matching open. hangers and everything. Wow, yeah. <laughs> all my wrestling shirts. <laughs> I just finally did that in my closet a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so I was like, you cannot have a better closet than me. Yeah, people always say to close your closet. I always keep it open now because they just, they always say that. It's like you started keeping it open on purpose, yeah. That's funny. Alright guys, so we are rolling. By the way, I know it's a little bit messy over here. Shop TNA bag, red standard. I even got it. Still got the Exotica bags. If my mom knew what those were, like what the Exotica bag actually meant, psh, be long gone in the garbage. But anyways, let's begin. Let's start out with the boring stuff first. This right here. I hope. By the way, I hope the lighting is good. Sorry, this is all my iPhone. It's the iPhone 5. Got a random jacket in here. It's random dress shirts. This is all the boring stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, and by the way, random cup I made when I was like in kindergarten. <laughs> These are the belts that I showed you guys in the video. If you haven't seen this, it's an autograph belt. I think this is the, yeah, this right here is the World Heavyweight, and right here is the Spinner. So, yeah, let's see. Got a John Cena Fruity Pop. I don't even ask why I still have this. I just threw it in my closet. And, yeah. I got some more stuff down here. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Trying to make it as bright as we got like a PS3 box that I've only played like two or three times. Floyd Mayweather, huge autograph under here. It's one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, a bunch of like random stuff that's kind of boring down over there. So let's begin. A lot of people wanted to see this, so this is why I'm making this video. And I hate didn't feel like making all like raw review or anything. So we got a random Puma shirt. 
Random shirt. Let's see. Sorry, it's kind of mixed up with wrestling shirts. I know you guys want to see the wrestling shirts, not these like boring. Let's take a look. Nike, American Eagle. I don't like half these shirts. I don't even wear. I don't wear no American Eagle shirts. Nike XFL. Hell yeah. This is one of my favorite shirts, but this shirt's like an XL, and I wear XXL. So this shirt's kind of I don't know. It fits, but it's like kind of tight. Dominican Republic shirt. Another old shoes. Chumley shirt. Any uh. <laughs> When I actually got this, I went to the Pawn Star shop, the actual Pawn Star shop in Las Vegas, and I picked up that shirt. So, Chum Lee shirt. Never wear it though. Puma shirt. Dwight Howard shirt when he was from Orlando. Kendra Lust. Picked this up from Exotica. Ryback. Unlimited Energy. Bo Leaf shirt. One of my favorites. Jericho Hall. All right. Jeff actually picked this up when they went to Florida. They went to Hogan's Beach Shop, and he actually gave me this shirt. So, this is from straight from Hogan's Beach Shop. I didn't order this online. I would never order a shirt like this online if I wasn't gonna actually go there. Well, point of these shirts are to get if you actually you know visited the shop. Aces and Eights. R.I.P. Aces and Eights. That was fun while it lasted. So glad I was able to go to that show. You know, and that Dixie Carter clip you heard was, you know, like as Aces and Ace were in their prime, Bully Ray was the champion. It was the first impact on the show. Got a random Jordan shirt. Jordan shirt. AJ Styles shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. Random shirt. Random shirt. Random RVCA polo. They got a TNA shirt. Random shirt. Evolution shirt. As you can see, they screwed up with this shirt. Randy Orton is the shortest when in reality he's the tallest. And that's yeah, Randy Orton's supposed to be the tallest. I think WWE Shop, whoever creates these shirts has something against them. They always somehow botch his shirts. He was always complaining about it somehow on social media. John Cena, you can't stop me shirt. Got this when I went meeting him. Cool dude. In legal trouble. I wore this when I went meeting CM Punk. He liked this shirt. He told me a nice shirt. Got an Eric Young shirt. Resistance Pro Wrestling. I remember when I bought this, some chick was like, it was at Comic-Con. I bought this at Comic-Con. They had a Resistance Pro booth. And as I was walking around the whole show, some chick would always come up and be like, nice shirt, nice shirt. And I was like, what the heck does this chick want? Why does she keep telling me? Like, she told me, like, nice shirt, like, three times. Like, she would, like, tap on my shoulder and be like, wow, you got a nice shirt. And I was just like, does she, is she trying to, like, diss my shirt? Does she, like, hate wrestling or something? Then later on that show, she comes up to me. Again, when I'm like waiting around with Jeff, she's like, oh, uh, that's an awesome shirt. I was the one that designed it. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> then I'm like thinking to myself, that's why she kept saying nice shirt the whole time. Because she literally came up like three times. I was like, what the hell's wrong with this girl? So we got a WCW shirt. And this was a random Nike shirt. I like this material, by the way. What is this? This is this is 100% cotton, but uh, it always, they always all feel different. Random Bulls shirt. Hopefully it can be seven fingers soon. John Wall shirt. Straight Edge. Hardcore Straight Edge CM Punk shirt. There you go. Random Nike shirt. Derek Rose shirt. CM Punk shirt. Cubs shirt. Random white tee. Nike shirt, Adidas shirt, Puma, sorry I know I got like random, any World of Warcraft players, for the horde, new expansions out, I'm not playing though, I quit that game, got a LeBron James, bought this shirt for three bucks, or like actually it was like two bucks, it was like two dollars and like fifty cents, 
And now he's back and he's number 23, so the shirt's worth like 30 bucks now. We got a uh, Mark Henry Hall of Pain shirt. All will suffer. Random Nike shirt. This one right here is one of my favorites. Knees to faces. 25, 8, 366. Dolph Ziggler shirt. Uh, Wizard John Wall shirt. Picked up like a couple of John Wall shirts like years ago and I went to like some Reebok store. Random American Eagle. You got the Wyatt family shirt. We got a Bulls championship. Rubber doll. Exotica shirt. She was one that hooked me up with free tickets to the show, so she was... If you go to an Exotica, go meet Rubber Doll. She hooked me up with, like, 10 tickets within, like, the last two years. So props to her. Uh, we got a WWE Mike Tyson shirt. Don't ask even why I got this. <laughs> got an NWO shirt. Got a Jerry Springer security shirt. Yeah, this is an actual shirt from the Jerry Springer show. My mom's friend, my mom's friend's cousin was actually a, uh, he worked, he worked for the Jerry Springer Troops, one of the producers or something. He got them in for free, got like them, got them nice seats and stuff. And I actually told the camera guys, like, make sure they're on TV a lot while they were sitting in the audience. And when they went back there, my mom told me about how like, you know, scripted it was, how they were telling them do this and that. I mean, but you know, everyone knows the Jerry Springer show is scripted, but, uh, yeah, I gave her a free shirt. They all got free shirts, I guess, but she just gave it to me, so I got a Jerry Springer security shirt. So that's kind of cool. Got another Pawn Star Pawn Stars shirt. I'm sure, just some Pawn Stars random shirt. Got a Nuggets jersey. Random Lifetime jersey. Roy Williams. I like the Dallas Cowboys. So I got a Dallas Cowboy, but I haven't really bought. Damn, it's dark. Sorry, guys. You got a rated R Ed shirt. Another random shirt. Joakim Noah. Random shirt. Uh, casino shirt. And Nike shirt. Oh, and this is the one I actually bought from Raw. CM Punk shirt. This is back 2013. You got the day right at the bottom. 9-23-13. So he's been gone for a while now. He wasn't at the last September Raw. Oh shit. Now I got stuff falling all over the place. But anyways, let's get back in it. A Bulls jacket I bought for like 300 bucks and didn't even wear it once. I don't even know why I bought it. But uh... Yeah, that's my uh... Closet guys. Oh, let me show you guys that poster. This thing up here. I love Christy Hemi poster. She came up and kissed it. <laughs> so she was cool. Let's see what else. This right here, for any basketball fans, I know it's got a lot of dust. I need a good frame. It's a signed Joe Kimonoa poster of him blocking one of LeBron's shots. So that was kind of cool. Got to meet him. But uh, yeah, guys. One thing I forgot to show was this R Truth shirt. This R Truth little Jimmy shirt. I don't have it in my closet because this is a shirt uh, he threw to me, and it was kind of cool, you know. Once I caught it, I was just like, damn, you know, that's badass. I can only imagine catching, like, a WrestleMania t-shirt or, like, a rock armband. It'd be freaking badass, but R-Truth was cool. Threw his shirt right to me. Uh, everyone was, like, focused on, like, Vicky Guerrero on the stage, and I was just, like, you know, ch uh, clapping for truth, and boom, he threw it to me. So that's kind of cool. If you enjoyed this video... Uh, Please uh, like it, uh, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.